Hi guys, I'm back again today with another Bell Lily, Bell Lily uh, review. Um, this was a bigger order. I got, I think it was 19, I ordered 19 items. Um, got shoes, I got some jeans, and I got some more shirts. I ordered a dress, but I did not get the dress. Um, they were sold out. There's, there was, this shipment came in two package. The first package I got in like two weeks, 14 days. Um, the other package, it took me a little over a month to get. But some of the things I had ordered was sold out. And there was about 11 emails between me and Belle Lily trying to find replacements. Because some of, even some of my replacements, things that I had picked for replacement was sold out. I'm gonna start first with the shoes that I ordered. Oh, also the second um, package I got, when it came, it was busted open. Um, I will post a picture. Um, the shoes. I got one pair of sandals. Shoes comes in a bag like this. Um, the shoes, they're cheaply made. Let me put it here so you can get a real good look at it. It is very cheaply made. They come squished. The plastic here is real thin. They're cute. I don't know how well they'll hold up. So I'm going to try it on and let you see. Okay. They look nice, but like I said, they're very cheaply made. They fit good. They are comfortable. Okay, that's one pair. Okay, the next pair is a pair of tennis shoes. And again, they come in those plastic bags. This is what they look like. Again, they are pretty cheaply made. It's pretty thin material. This is like a canvas. Um, the padding inside, I usually like to take the lining out and I use these sock things and I put over the lining. I'm not able to take these out because there's not a whole lot of padding in here. To me, these run, it feels a little, it's a little big here, through here. And I have a high end step. So to me, they're still a little bit big. Because they would walk and they would slide up and down on my heel. Okay, the next pair of shoes. that I ordered was these and I ordered these because I had ordered the orange shirt that I wanted to go with it but it was sold out again these are it's canvas give you a good look at it not much padding in it which I can pick up pads and put in it Okay, like I said, they are cute, but they are a little bit big on my foot. And they come in European sizes, and I wore a size 8 shoe, so I ordered a size 40. I should have... but they don't have half sizes. Okay, the next one is a pair of little bootlets. They come in the bag also. Inside, they did have 
this little thing to kind of help them keep their shape. They are extremely cute. You would definitely, I don't know if you'd want to tie that up, but you would definitely have to tie it up. Um, you would need to wear ankle socks with these because you can feel that zipper right here. You can feel it on your foot. But they are cute. But again, um, you know, very cheaply made. I would say it's, I would compare it to probably, I don't know. If this is soft. It's like a sway-like material. It's, it's soft. Okay. I got. Um, I should have told you before I started. Um, with this order, I ordered 19 items. I ordered three pairs of socks because I'm using that as a gag gift for Christmas, so I'm not going to bother showing you the socks. Um, my subtotal was $404.11. I got free shipping. Uh, the insurance cost me $20.21. Um, I had a, they gave, they sent me a 10% off coupon, which I got uh, $40.43 subtracted. My total was $383.89. Um, some of the items that I wanted that they didn't have and I replaced it was with a little bit cheaper items. So they ended up I can't, um, crediting me $3 and some change back. So now we'll try on the shirt. So I'm gonna save the jeans for last. Shirt, I'm gonna make sure I got everything tucked in there. My first shirt, it's a cold shoulder shirt. Um, it's a little bit, um, I don't know what kind of fabric you would call it. But it's, it's a real soft fabric. Um, this one probably fits better than any of the other cold shoulder shirts I have gotten from them. Um, it is more of a dressier shirt. I guess you could dress it up or you could wear it with jeans, ever, which one you prefer. Um, I like this shirt. It's a real pretty shirt. here um it is not stretchy like the other ones it has the lace sleeves um lace around the neck um the, sh the sleeves are not all the way it's wrinkly because you know <laughs> they come packaged in those things uh if you haven't watched the other videos um the other video I do wear medium in shirts, and I ordered medium in all of these. They have a size chart for each um, item. Shoes, pants, and everything. Um, it's not as thin as some of the other shirts. But this, this is a nice shirt. Okay, here you have a leopard print shirt. Fits nice, it's stretchy material. Um, it has elastic on the sleeves. The sleeves are good length. I like this one too. This one is another one. It also has the, it's made out of the stretchy material. It fits good, it's stretchy. So far, I'm more pleased with this order than I was with the last one. You know, the last one was nice, but it had few items, which, you know, there may be a few in this one. Okay, 
This one has three hearts on it, and it says, the key to life is happiness. The key to life is happiness around this heart. Um, it is a stretchy material. It's, um, the material is like um, that sh silky, shiny um, t-shirt like material. It's not cotton. There's no labels in it, so you don't really know what it is. I'm gonna say it's a polyester. But this one fits good too, and I like this one. You notice I like the leopard prints. <laughs> now we got a little bit something different. We got a tie-dye hoodie. Um, it fits good. Again, it is made of stretchy material. It's a little bit thicker than the shirts. It's not something I guess you would wear really, really cold. If you live somewhere where it's really, really cold. Um, I'm in South Carolina, so this will be perfect for here. Because it don't get that cold. But I like this one too. This one is a little bit tighter than the other ones, but it is stretchy material. I probably end up giving this one to my daughter. It has buttons here. I didn't bother button it. Yeah, this one shows all of my rolls, so I'll probably give this one to my daughter. It has lace on the bottom. Um, I like the color block. This is the only sweater I got, and I'm glad about that, because I'm not really crazy about this sweater. Um, it just don't fit right here. I don't know. I can probably, these straps here need to be shortened. Um, since I sew, I can probably take them loose back here and fix that, because there is a seam there. Um, yeah, it would... It's warm, <laughs> but it would be a whole lot better with those straps shortened. See all the buck, the excess, um, but it's supposed to have a little keyhole here. Maybe my boobs aren't big enough, I don't know, but it don't fit me nowhere near like it did the model. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely, it seems like one strap is shorter than the other. Look at the excess I have here, but look at the excess here. So it seems like one strap is definitely shorter than the other. So I'm gonna have to work on this one. I don't like how close it goes to my neck up here either. So I'm gonna have to work on this sweater. Move on to the jeans. Before I show you these jeans, I'm gonna um, tell you a little bit about it. I wear a size 8 jeans. Their jeans come small, medium, and large. And I was real hesitant about ordering jeans from them because they come small, medium, and large. Um, the medium said size 6 to 8. So I thought, you know, there's a 6 would be too tight for me. I don't see how 6 and an 8 would fit together. So I just took a wild guess and said, let me order a large. Let me go up a size. And I'm glad I did because the, when I, by going up a size, they fit good. You can see I love it. Um, they have a nice fit. I really like the jeans. And you know they got the the material behind here. It's just like the material the shirts are made out of. They're a little bit long. Guess I'm not tall enough. I'm 5'4", so I guess I'm not not tall enough for their jeans. And these are the, um, I guess they're supposed to be skinny jeans. And I have two more pairs of jeans to show you. This is another pair. And, you know, the left is, once I have my shoes on, the length would be okay on these. 
Um, the other pair had a little bit of stretch to them. This pair has very little stretch. The new raggy holy jeans. This is the last pair of jeans. Again, it's stretchy material. Um, they are a little bit long, but once I put on shoes, maybe they won't be so bad. I'd have to wear something with a little bit of holes. <laughs> a little bit of heels, a little bit of holes. And they are faded. Holy. But they are very comfortable. I really like their jeans, except for the length. I wish they were just a tad bit shorter. That's it. Okay, that's it. Last item in this order. Um, all in all, I really like the items I got in here in this order. The shoes, I probably wouldn't order shoes from them again. Because like I said, they're... Yeah, you know, I paid thirty some dollars for them, so I guess for thirty some dollars, they're not that bad. Um, I don't know how well they hold up. I guess, like I said, after I washed the items a couple of times, I'm gonna do a video about how they held up. The shirts that I got in this order, I'm pleased with them. The sweater, hopefully, I can do a little bit of work to it and make it work and like I said the, se the second bag I got with this order came all busted up because they come shipped in those poly bags and I will post a video I, I will post a picture so you can see how to ride how the bag ride um, I had to open the bag and count the items that was in there to make sure I had all my items because the way it was opened you know, some things could have dropped out. And Bell Lily did send me, when I made my order, they sent me an order confirmation. When they shipped the order, they sent me a tracking number. Um, I was able to track my package. This one, the package that came busted up, I just thought it was so funny because it left Los Angeles, went to, Ch I went to China, left China, went back to Los Angeles before it ever started its track to South Carolina. Where before, my other packages, you know, they leave China and come straight to, um, they go to New York and then New Jersey and then straight here. So I felt, thought that was a little bit strange. I guess they got some kind of warehouse or something maybe in Los Angeles and it goes from Los, some of the items have to go from Los Angeles to China. But a lot of the things I ordered in this uh, order was sold out. And, but like they did send me emails and asked me if I wanted to wait for the item to restock or if I wanted to replace it. And I just chose to replace them. And then some of the things I replaced it with was also sold out and I would have to go back and find something else. And it was getting to a point there for a while I was worried. Um, I hope I'm not ordering two of the same thing. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I answer them if I can. Thanks for watching.